What's up, it is Brianna, and today we're gonna to be sitting down and testing out the brand new Urban Decay Naked Wild West palette, and we just need to talk about the packaging for a moment because it is so pretty. It's this really nice acrylic, like it is like a bougie acrylic, but the inside of the acrylic, you can see it's like this snake skin, jewel tone type of vibe that is extra metallic. And if you haven't seen the color story yet, it is a neutral palette, but it does have these really fun bright pops of color in here, especially these two blues. I think they're really fun, and I cannot wait to use them. But what I like about this palette, though, too, is that it does lean a little bit more on the cool side. I will admit, though, I was expecting it to be a little bit more warm, but I'm honestly really excited that it is a little bit more cool because those are my kinds of colors. Like, don't get me wrong, like, I do like warm tone neutrals, but cool tones are definitely more my style. Now, I'm just saying before we jump into it, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and also give this video a like. And if you'd like to check me out over on my Instagram page or my TikTok, it is at Brianna Faye as well. So I'm first going to just prime my eyelids using my Anastasia Eye Primer. You can also use a full coverage concealer if you'd like. And I'm just going to be packing it all over my lid up to my brow. So the first shade I want to go in with is this cool tone shade right here in the center, and this one is called Loretto. And I'm just taking it on the brush that came with this palette, and oh my gosh, that is really pigmented. I mean, for a one dip, like, dang. And again, I'm just applying it in my crease, and then doing these little circular motions to blend it upwards towards my brow. And I'm also using it to round out my outer V. But honestly, like, I'm just a little shook. I thought this shade was going to be a little bit more of, like, a medium buildable. This shade is also blending out really nice too. If it's looking chunky in this little area right here in the inner portion of my eye, it's because I have an acne spot there as well as a little patch of eczema. So it's not the shadow, it's just the texture of my skin. So I'm just going to go in with a second layer just to help kind of like build it up a little bit. See what happens. Oh yeah. The shade is also giving me a lot of depth. I was not expecting it to apply this way. I thought it was going to be a little bit lighter too. Man, that's a really pretty color. So to get a little bit more depth with this look, I'm just going to go in with this purpley gray kind of shade, and this one is called Pony Up, and I'm just going to take it on this brush from ColourPop. It's an E22. And again, I'm just going to apply it in my crease, and then blend it upwards. Okay, is it me, or is this applying kind of like a lighter charcoal type of shade? Like, I don't see any purple when applied. It's very much a gray. And again, I am going to round out this outer portion too. But I will say again, like the shade is very pigmented right away. And it's also blending out really nice too. You see what I mean though? Like it's literally like blending out like butter. And I'm just going to take a second layer though, because I'm kind of curious to see if it does build up. Especially with it being that pigmented. Oh yeah. So I mean, it builds up if you want to. I'm really impressed with the shade. Because sometimes these types of colors can give you a lot of harsh lines and can be really tricky to work with. So now I'm just going to go in with a blue in the palette called Tex. And I'm just going to take it on this Morphe M507 brush. And I'm really curious to see how this one applies. Especially with the other two being so pigmented. But again, I'm just going to apply it in my crease. I don't know. I think it'd just be really fun here. And maybe give things a little bit more of like a blue hue. I'm also using it to round out my outer V. And again, like, this shade is very pigmented. Wow, that's a really pretty color. I really actually like it mixed with all the shades that we have applied because it kind of just brought, like, this kind of, like, blue vibe to it. And again, I'm just going to do a second layer. And for a blue, like, it's blending out really nice, too. Like, it's not acting chunky or weird super easy to work with. Like, if you're a beginner, I don't think you'd struggle with this shade even. Because normally blues aren't, like, the most beginner-friendly shades, but this one literally, like, blends itself out. Now I'm just going to take that brush that we applied Pony Up with, with no additional product on it, and then lightly fluff out the edges. I am seriously so impressed with the quality of this palette so far. Like, the shades are so pigmented, and they literally blend themselves out like a dream. Like, you just literally apply it. It's super pigmented. Do a couple circles, and it's already buffed out. It's a very beginner-friendly formula, in my opinion. But off-camera, though, I am going to cut my crease, and I'm just going to do one of those half-cut creases. And then afterwards, I'll be right back to finish up the lid. So now I'm just going to go in with a little bit more of Tex, and I'm just using this shading brush from Lavish and packing it right on that harsh line of the cut crease. 
and I'm bringing it about a third the way in. I will say though this dark blue shade is a little bit darker than it looks like in the pan so just keep that in mind. So now for the rest of the lid I'm just going to go in with this blue shimmer shade and I really hope that it is extra sparkly because it almost looks like a satin in the pan but this one is called Bud. And I'm just going to be taking it on this dampened little shader brush. Ooh. Ooh, I was not expecting that. I thought it was going to apply like a satin, but dang, like that is like a metallic blue. Wow, that is really pretty. And again, I'm just applying it anywhere that that base is still showing. But I mean, for a one dip, like look at how pigmented that is. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm also just feathering whatever's left on my brush into that dark blue called Tex. You know, I'm just going to do a second layer. Oh my gosh, like yeah, like the second layer makes it like really sparkly. The first layer is like a metallic. And it does have like some shimmer to it, but the second layer really brings a wow factor. You definitely don't have to do two layers though if you don't want to. I really like how this look is turning out so far. It's kind of like a smoky blue type of moment. But off camera though, I am going to clean up this fallout situation that I have going on underneath my eyes from the blue shimmer shade. The other shades that we used did not give me any fallout, just this one. And I'm also, you know, going to apply like my complexion products, liner, lashes, you know, all of that stuff. And then afterwards, I'll be right back to finish up the look. So here's what I'm at right now after doing that all off camera and now we're going to start working on the lower lash line and I'm just going to go in with that gray shade that we used earlier. Again, this one is called Pony Up and I'm just going to be taking it on the shader side of that brush I came with the palette. And I'm just going to run it right underneath the lower lash line doing back and forth motions. You see what I mean though? Like this shade is so pigmented. So now we're going to be doing my absolute favorite part, which is the inner corner highlight. And I'm just going to go in with this super icy shade. And this one is kind of like a taupe almost, and it is called Cowboy Rick. So I'm just going to be taking this on a dampened ES4 brush from Profusion. I really like packing it in there. Okay. That is really blinding. Oh my gosh. And I also have like a little eye boogie right here. But wow, like... I was not expecting that, but at the same time my expectations were really high with this shade just for how glittery it looked in the pan. But dang, like she's pretty. And I'm also just going to take it underneath the inner tear duct area just a little bit too. But wow. And I'm just going to take a little bit more and see if we can get it like extra blinding. Oh yeah. Ooh, like this is a really, really pretty color. The formula of this kind of reminds me of these shimmer shades out of these Stone Vibes palette if you have that one. I didn't think I was going to be able to get this type of look with this palette, but honestly, I'm obsessed. But let's talk about the formula and the mattes in here are so pigmented, like to the point you don't even have to build them up if you don't want to. And I was actually expecting the formula of the mattes to be a little bit more of like a buildable formula. Because like when I think of the naked palettes, I think of everyday glam, you know, something that you can wear for everyday looks, you know, just a little bit more of like a lighter type of vibe. But trust me, these shadows in here are packed with pigment. Like again, if you don't want to build them up, you definitely don't have to. And even though they are very pigmented, they're also very easy to work with and blend out. So if you're a beginner or if you struggle blending out your shadows, I don't think you're going to struggle with the mattes in here whatsoever. Again, they're one of those shadows where you apply it in the crease, it's super pigmented, you do a couple of circles, and it's instantly blended out. As for the shimmers in this palette, we only used two today. I used this blue one right here, and then this kind of like taupey icy one. And both of these are very metallic and very shimmery when applied. I will say, even though they do have like that wet metallic kind of look to them, they're not going to emphasize any texture on the lids. This blue shimmer shade that we used right here called Bud, this one does give like a little bit of fallout. Like it's not a lot of fallout, but it is enough that you will notice it. So if you do decide to get this palette and use a shade, I would do my eye makeup before my face makeup just so it's a little bit easier to clean up. So when it comes down to it, would I recommend this palette, you guys? And honestly, I really like this palette. I love the quality of it, and I think the shadows are very pretty and very easy to work with. And if you like cool tone colors or if you like this type of color story, I think you're going to be really happy with it too. I will say though this palette is a little bit up there in price. It is $49, but again, it is a very good quality palette and I had zero issues with any of the colors today. But yeah, so in the comments down below, let me know what you think about this look and also let me know if you're going to be picking up this palette or not. But as always though, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and also give this video a like. And if you'd like to check me out over on my Instagram page or my TikTok, it is at Brianna Faye as well. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!